Hey, uh, hey guys and gals, uh, this is Jim here. Uh, I got another quick update this morning. Uh, I'm going to show you a few pictures on my uh, tablet in this video of the Klingon Katinga. There's actual photos of the studio model. And uh, you'll notice there's just two different uh, green colors on there in that. And uh, that's the top, uh, top of the main hall. I'm not going to bother showing you the neck. It's a little bit more muted and stuff, but it's more a solid color. And that's the bottom. There is pretty much two different shades of green as far as all the uh, detail ray surfaces. And then you got some uh, weathering there and a little bit of a brighter green color and stuff. That's easy to do with chalks. But I just wanted to show you these pictures as um, in comparison uh, to uh, that. This is, uh, this is a lot easier to tell. These are pretty close to the colors I'm going with and everything, so we're going to show you another picture now. This is the one done for the box art colors they show you on the box by uh, Small Artworks who does all around two's uh, model building for their box uh, box artwork and stuff. Uh, this is a little too busy. There's a third color on it. There's your dark green, your light green and then there's almost uh, like I says a real light mint green kind of color. Uh, I don't know about you guys but I'm not seeing that on the uh, original studio filming model and stuff so I don't know where they got this paint scheme from but uh, I keep looking at the box art according to the paint callouts and stuff just for reference uh, as far as the photos and I'm, lo I'm looking I've got my uh, base color down as far as the light green goes and uh, I'm looking at these uh, dark green and then the light green and I'm not seeing that light minty green on the uh, studio model it's basically a two color and I recall if you go back in my videos I built the two uh, 537 scale the uh, Kronos one and uh, the uh, regular Katinga, like this one from the first movie and stuff, and uh, I painted that one according to the kit directions. And tell you what, that paint, uh, that uh, the paint scheme they gave you in those kit kit instructions was more accurate to the studio model than this one is. So uh, I just thought I'd share this with you and stuff. And uh, it's just more discrepancies I'm having with the way that round two, uh, you know, even put up the reference photos and stuff. And uh, I'm going to go back to that studio model photo one more time and uh, just for kicks. You guys be the judge. I'm seeing two colors. I'll bring it up a little bit for you. I'm not seeing that third real light pale minty green. So, <clears throat> you know, like I says, everybody's going to, as their own, their own judgment, everybody sees this ship in, a, in their own way. Um, you can paint it any color you want. There's no rules, you know. Um, but I'm just, I'm just saying, uh, wherever that third color came from, not seeing it on here, that would be up around here, which to me is the same as the light green down here. This long stripe, and that um, the dark green and the light. I'm, I'm uh, you know, it's, it's not my eyes and everything. I mean, uh, you know, my eyes, my eyes ain't that bad in my older years, but uh, I'm not seeing three colors on there, so. It's just something I wanted to bring up and everything and all that. And these are actual photos from uh, Modeler Magic when they were working on the studio model and stuff. And the bottom bottom hall is a little bit more washed out and everything. And that, and uh, even what I was seeing in the movie, I got a couple shots of that. Some screen captures that I was doing. See what we come up over here. Even in the screen capture shot, I'm only getting the front portion of the uh, bottom hall, but there's only two colors on there and everything too. So, um, you know, like I said, where round two came up with that from, I have no idea. So, but anyway, just something I thought I'd share with you guys, um, all that and, uh, you know, uh, I know it's a little bit dark, but uh, it's uh, clear enough to make out the, the difference in the studio model and the, and the kit paint scheme. So 
to me, I've been looking at this artwork on the on the box as far as the paint uh, paint suggestions and stuff as far as the different areas and the different colors. And to me, it's just looking too busy and. It's just, it just keeps popping into my mind that that's not really that accurate and stuff and that. And uh, sure enough, I went to the studio model photos that I downloaded a while back. And um, anybody else wants to double check for themselves, just go to modelermagic.com. Uh, look for the Klingon Katinga and you'll find it. What I did, I did a Google search and just put pulled up images. And uh, you get to one that says it's got a couple of pictures of the Katinga and different different. Uh, views of it and you click on if it says model or magic and it'll take you right to that website and there's a bunch of black and white photos but like i said there are a few good color photos on there and stuff so and i remember way back uh, years ago when i built that 537th i looked at the same uh website and everything and that's what i was pulling up so uh till the next time i just thought i'd share this with you guys a little bit of a helpful hint uh you know there's a lot of a lot of guys painted like different ways and stuff i'm trying to get mine close to the filming model in that and uh all that so i'm um, i'm using more more subdued greens that kind of blend with one another but they're still going to be the contrast in between the two colors and all that so um anyway hope this is helpful for a lot of you guys and until the next time there's another little bunch of lights up there you can see in the front of it in the cell area i thought about putting those in but there's also some little detail parts that aren't on the model that um there's like little brackets and stuff that stick up that hold those so i just uh forewent those and stuff they'd be tiny compared to the lights in the back of the cell anyway but um till the next time you guys all have a good one thanks for subscribing thanks for hitting the like button thanks for all the great comments um uh, thanks for the questions uh the suggestions on um and uh different uh opinions and views on this kit that i've been getting from you guys and all and i uh, hope this is helpful to you till the next time you guys all take care. It's uh, going to be a little bit of time before I get to the next video on the Katinga because uh, I'm to the point now laying down the second color on the model. There is a lot of masking to do. So until um, the next time, you guys all have a good one. Take care. and We'll see you. Bye.